Hi, my name is Dave Mosinski and I'm with Sly Incorporated. In this video, I'm going to show you proper setup for operating Sly's MP404 timer in continuous cleaning mode. And this is when you're not using the pressure module for on-demand cleaning. To operate in continuous cleaning mode, a jumper must be placed between the high limit input and the common, or between the manual override and the common. Once a jumper is in place and power has been supplied, you can set up the timer for initial operation. The timer comes set with factory defaults that you can either accept or change to meet your needs. Slide timers come with either 6, 10, or 22 outputs, and slave boards can be added to increase the outputs to 255. When power is supplied to the timer, the process light comes on. To make changes to the factory defaults, press the select button. The first option is last output. In this case, 6 is a factory default because this is an MP404-6 with a maximum of 6 outputs. Next option is time off. This is the amount of time in seconds that the between pulses. It can be adjusted from, down from to 1 or up to 255. Next option is time on, and this is in milliseconds. The factory default is 100 milliseconds or one tenth of a second, but it can be adjusted down to 10 milliseconds or up to 610 milliseconds. Next option is cycle delay, and this is the amount of time the timer waits to pulse between 6 and going back to row 1 on your dust collector. The factory default is 0, but it can be set all the way up to 255 minutes. Next option is downtime cycle, which is a feature of our timer that we'll discuss in a, in a future video. And this is how, this is a proper setup for operating size MP404 timer in continuous cleaning mode. And don't forget to visit our website at www.slyinc.com for all your air pollution control needs.